What's up everybody? Good morning. Car camera is back out garage sale again. Quite a few more sales posted online in the last two weekends or so. Out with Frank. Hi. How have you been? I've been very good. He's been very busy. Very busy. He's yes. been colleging mm -hmm. and going to New Yorking. So he's he's had a going few to Nintendo World. In Nintendo New York. World. Yes. yes. Um, we went to maybe about five sales so far. Best thing. Well, the only thing found, only thing game wise, was a Game Boy with a leaky battery comp compartment and a copy of uh, Mario Land Two in there. Um, he bought some poster frames, picture frames. That he's gonna yeah, put some posters in. Club Nintendo posters in that. And then there was one sale so far where the uh, lady said at another house she has an original Xbox with about twenty games. She actually offered she's gonna go get them this morning and bring them back to the sale that she was at. So we'll go check that out around noon. Only a few more postings around town that we saw that we'll probably try to head to and then maybe do some thrift store or pawn shopping but uh yesterday i had one garage sale find it was at a garage sale but it was one of the ones where i know the guy and he calls me you know frequently so i'll show that later but i can call this a garage sale pickups video because we found something finally got something there's a garage sale right behind these cars over here somewhere anyways so something at a garage sale today well we took a chance and we drove way downtown to a uh like an outdoor antique garage it said garage sale yeah. but honestly most of the stuff was antiques and collectibles but for a dollar a piece i got two psyduck little keychain things this one looks like it lights up this one is just sitting in a pokeball uh and there was some half nudie photos yep artistic ones i don't know if i, I was thinking about filming them but i left oh, the camera oh, in the oh, car surprisingly a decent find at a garage sale um Long story, they didn't have anything out game-wise. Did the, you know, oh, we have stuff in the house, or we, we got rid of some things a little while ago. She originally brought out a, I don't know if you'll be able to see yeah. it too well, a Game Gear case with a black Game Gear in there that powers on. There you go. Um, doesn't work, though. The, there's nothing on the screen, but that that's so common to find a Game Gear that's not working. Um, but quite a few games in there, and they weren't all Sonic. There were... Yeah, Chuck uh, Rock. Chuck Rock, a Predator game, um, st one of the Star Wars ones, I think. Anyways, random odd titles. Yeah. For 10 bucks, I figured it was worth a shot, because there was over 10 games in there. Uh, I don't... I think maybe Chuck Rock I don't have. If not, then he's going to have it. Um, then they brought out a box full of like Game Boy-related stuff. He was a little higher than we originally wanted for everything, so we ended up just picking out what we wanted. And he wanted like $20 each for the Game Boy. Yeah, there was a green Game Boy Color he wanted 20 bucks for. But I ended up getting a gold pocket, a uh, little rough, has some scratches and scuffs on the front, but it does work. This was uh, 15 but it also came with Titus the Fox and the Game Boy Color. Another one that I don't think I have, but if I do, then, then Frank will get it. Frank picked up... Uh, that's Titus the Fox. You got Donkey Kong. I got... Donkey Kong Land, Kirby's Star, Star, Star Stacker, Kirby, and this regular Donkey Kong. And then he also picked up an e-reader. E-reader with a lot of cards. Stack of cards. Uh, there's one of the Game & Watch cards in there that you actually just scan and play a Game & Watch game. And then some like Ice Climber one stuff. So good yeah. find. And then also, we exchanged telephone numbers. He has a Nintendo, a 64, a bunch of other things that he said later today he'd take a picture of, send it to me, and then maybe it's something you could pick up tomorrow or whatever. But very surprised a week after Christmas to actually find a good haul like that. At the uh, sale right behind us. Well, you can kind of see it maybe over there. Yeah, you can see some shit. There's some shit. Yeah, Pointing some skills. Shit going on. <laughs> uh, for 10 bucks, I bought uh, Wrestler WWE All Stars. Some quality games. Yeah. Angry Birds Trilogy, and then New Super Mario Bros. 2, 10 bucks for the three of them. Originally, he said 25 cents a piece. I was a little kid, and I know <laughs> not to take that offer. I'm like, you get no more than that, buddy. And he's like, 50? I was like, more than that, too. <laughs> a little bit more than that. Because his dad stand there, and I'm like, how about $10 for the three? At least make a solid, you know, good offer. It's apparently not for sale, but this uh, top card pinball machine is kind of cool. And then a, a Wii remote with a awesome little Woody hat there. GameCube, no controller with the box, and a, a multi-tap. Actually, we don't even know how much these are yet. Yeah, we, and know. we don't know how much that stuff is yet. So the prices at that sale were cheap because I got this, this, and the GameCube for five bucks. There's only the power cable in there. It's uh, obviously a platinum one with the box. Box is pretty beat up and crushed. Yeah. Um, then he got a Wii remote with the Wii Motion Plus, a couple Z boards. A, it was like 50 cents. Yeah, and then a case only, yeah. a case of manual for Star Ocean. 
So how much was all of that? Two fifty. Yeah, two fifty. Two fifty for everything, and then they had a bunch of free stuff. That's where he got his little free cowboy hat there. At the uh, sale, we're leaving right now, and the glare behind us. So you can't see. Here, I'll pull over real quick. Uh, picked up three. This is the woman that said, "Come back later," and she'd bring back her Xbox games. They weren't as bad as I was expecting. They weren't all sports titles, but I got Crash Bandicoot, Wrath of Vortex, mm -hmm. True Crime, Streets of L.A., and Return to Castle Wolfenstein. A buck a piece. Wolfenstein and Crash are not complete. They're missing the manuals, but True Crimes is a dollar a piece. You really can't go wrong. We have a, a special guest here for the at-home portion of the pickups video. Say hi, Katie. She's currently playing some Final Fantasy XIV, and uh, we had to share the space <laughs> right now. And she's sick, so... Aww. Um, first, we're going to announce the uh, game giveaway winner for this past week. And uh, Katie, since you're here, I'll do the drum roll, you do the announcing. Okay. So all you have to do is read this name. I'm interrupting her gameplay. So you got it? Yeah, okay. I don't die. You got it if you don't die in the game. Alright, ready? So here we go. The winner of a random game on the system of their choice this week is... Joshua Antiberry. Atterbury. Close Atterbury. enough. Congratul <laughs> Congratulations, man. Please send me a message with your shipping information, and I will get a game on the system of your choice out to you. As always, another giveaway this week. Just be subscribed, thumbs up this video, and leave a comment down below. Comment can be about whatever. What, sh what should they comment? What's your suggestion this week, Katie? Give a suggestion. Um, um, Fluffernutter. Do you like Fluffernutter? Okay. Anyways, let, let us know down below, or the comment can be about whatever, it doesn't matter, and you'll have your chance to win a random game on the system of your choice. Okay, so, on to the pickups. Um, I'm not going to show you the stuff that you've already seen in the video, just stuff you didn't. Um, I was very surprised with uh, how many garage sales were actually going on today. Like I said, it's only the week, uh, second weekend after Christmas. Normally it's pretty damn dead this time of year, so pretty impressed that I had multiple pickups. I'll show you the... Um, Game Gear bundle. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, I think I mentioned before, the system is not functioning. It powers on. You can barely hear it say Sega, and there's <coughs> nothing on the screen. Stop coughing. Sorry. I gotta get you some cough medicine. Mm -hmm. um, so, unfortunately, big surprise, the Game Gear not working, but lots of games. Uh, we have Sonic the Hedgehog 2 with Tails, and most of them came with the little plastic cases. I'm not gonna open up every single one of them to show you, but uh, I'll show you those in a moment. The other games, we got X-Men, mm, Poker Face, Paul Solitaire, that sounds like a winner, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog Triple Trouble, this is, actually I need to open this one, um, Desert Speed Trap starring Roadrunner and Wile E. Coyote, we have another copy of Sonic the Hedgehog Triple Trouble. <coughs> Battleship, <laughs> Pac-Man, I'll go through these kind of quick, because like I said, there's quite a few, there's only a few that are really even remotely interesting, um, NFL 95, that not being one of them, uh, Chuck Rock, I already had this, so this is just going to go to Frank, we have the Lion King, Robocop 3, uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Super Space Invaders, World Series Baseball 95, another copy of Poker Face Pulse Poker. I mean, you know, you gotta have two. Uh, Predator 2, yeah, there you go. And I think that is it for the Game Gear games, but then there's also the manuals for quite a few of them, the Sonic ones, Super Space Invaders, uh, Robocop 3 manual, both of the poker manuals, um, and the Pac-Man one. So then, besides that, oh, I guess I'll do this now. I was going to do this first, but I forgot. Um, Frank gave me a Christmas present, and from just holding it, I'm assuming it's a mug-like object, because it has a handle, unless it's something really weird with a handle. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open it. It has a little Super Smash Brothers pin stuck to the outside. Let's see here. He says I have to text him to find out how to properly care for this, I think. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> it is... Hold on. A well-wrapped Donkey Kong mug 
from Nintendo World. He, oh, there you go, it says that on the back. He went there um, just recently, like I, I think we even said in the beginning of the video that uh, he went to New York on a trip. So thank you very much, man, that's awesome. I will uh, drink a beverage of some sort out of this in your honor. And Donkey Kong, see, see how pretty? Yeah, you can't have it. It's not yours. It's mine. Anyways, thank you very much, Frank. You could drink it. <laughs> um, let's see, I'm pretty sure I showed you guys in that Game Gear bundle, there was a couple game Nintendo related things, Game Boy stuff or whatever. Pretty sure I showed you the gold pockets, but the gold pocket I did test and it works fine. I actually don't have the gold color myself. Stinks, it's a little scuffed up, but anything that has that gold paint job to it, unfortunately, usually has a few marks or scuffs on it. Um, I did get this Game Boy from earlier in the video working. Like I said, the battery compartment was pretty much completely shot, uh, but I cleaned it all up, got it to work, and I'm going to probably try to Frankenstein this into... I have a clear one that I really wanted to get up and running, um, so I might put the innards of this one into that clear one. Uh, that's a project for another day. I'm tired. It's late. I'm filming this pretty late. It's after 10 o'clock, and on a Saturday night, that's late because we got to go to the market, and she's going to come. We're filming a new episode of v VGS tomorrow. She hasn't been out to the market in a month and a half or so. Three weeks. Yeah, well, more than that. You haven't been out there Three for a weeks. long time. That's how long we haven't, I haven't filmed. Anyway, it's been a long time. Um, what else? Oh, uh... I guess that, well, this this isn't a garage sale pickup, but I got this yesterday from a guy through my work. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> you kind of just saw it right there. Um, he came into my work a long time ago. I'm going to guess at least like five or six months ago, maybe even more. He said he had a red PS2. At that time, I didn't know what to really tell him. I'm like, uh, okay, maybe it's a... Japanese model. I don't even think at that time he told me if it was a slim or fat. I don't, I don't remember if that part of the conversation, but he ended up bringing this in yesterday. A fat, and I'm going to try to get all this correct. It is a super red uh, European automobile limited edition one. They did red, blue, white, <laughs> yellow, cough colored, no, um, and one other color. And uh, they were they came out in North America, Europe, and Japan, and each region, it was apparently limited to 666 in each region for each different color. So, apparently, there's only 666 of these, of this color in North America. It is in fantastic shape. Bummer is it did not come with its matching super red controller. So, if anyone out there is watching um, and you happen to have that random controller or know somewhere it's for sale or whatever, please let me know because I would like to put it with this. I'm definitely going to hang on to this. Like I said, the system is in fantastic shape. It works. Um, the rarity of this, uh, like I said, is at 666. That's pretty damn limited. And uh, it, it was a one-year anniversary, apparently, for when the original PlayStation came out. And um, I've, I have try to do some research more than that on it in, in the sense of value. There's somebody asking $900 for one with the controller in the box on eBay. And then there's like one that sold for like $37. But then I, I saw some videos that people posted a while back saying um, that they picked theirs up and they were happy to get it at like 160 bucks or so. Uh, and at that time, in like 2010, they were going for like 400 on average. So honestly, I'm going to guess that this is such an oddball item that uh, it's, it's something that not, enough either people, that not enough people either know about, care about, or you know, are actually seeking to find, so the value is, like, just all over the place, you know, almost next to nothing, the same price as a regular Fat PS2, or if there happens to be, like, two people looking for it at one given time, maybe they would pay a massive amount and they got, like, a bidding war or something. I don't know. I'm hanging on to it because it's super shiny and cool looking. Um, then, one of my, like I mentioned earlier in the video, one of my, uh, uh, contact garage sale people that are always getting stuff um, from this guy gets the stuff from the pawn sho uh, pawn shops and I think thrift stores also but anyways mainly pawn shops I've mentioned many times in the past I usually pick up um, some systems and uh, controllers and stuff for it he normally doesn't have games but I got this big old bag um, and there's I'm not gonna pull the Wii power cables and Wii audio video cables out of here but there was a red and black 360 controller with a rechargeable battery and charge cable. A 
white wired Microsoft brand 360 controller with, I think, a, yeah, not the correct uh, adapter piece on it, but obviously it still works, just not the right color. We have a black wireless 360 controller, black PS3 DualShock, a purple brand new Rock Candy uh, 360 controller, the charger, where did I stick it? Oh, it's right behind me. The charger for this 2DS, which was the big piece of this pickup, and uh, there was one of the pins on the inside uh, that reads the games, unfortunately, was bent a little bit to one direction, and not to the band one direction, in the actual one direction. Um, and uh, I had to take a little uh, needle and very carefully scoot it back over, straighten it out. I got it to work. I got it to read like seven games in a row, so it seems to be working just fine now. Um, so that was nice that I could repair that and get it back to working order. A lot of the system he gets, systems he gets is uh, probably uh, because the pawn shops either are having issues with them, they're either maybe a little bit defective or just having problems and not working perfectly, so they're not going to take the time to try to repair them or fix them, so they just sell it to him for dirt cheap. Um, and then, I think that was mainly, oh, there's a couple nunchucks in here, a white Wii remote, that's basically it, I believe. A few other random cables. All of that was 60 bucks. Oh, wait, and then there was... Hold on. Where is it? This one I'm keeping for myself. It is the um, UNSC Halo 4 Edition 360 controller. Uh, I have the other Halo 4 360 controller. I did not have this one. So 60 bucks for all of that. Awesome. forgot to show the uh, stack of manuals I got with the uh, Game Gear Game Boy pickup. Um, unfortunately, they didn't have any of these games. Uh, the Legend of Zelda, the classic NES version on the Game Boy Advance. Um, Maui, Maui Mallard in Cold Shadow on the Game Boy. Uh, Pokemon Emerald. We got Ruby, Sapphire, Leaf Green, and Fire Red. Again, pretty big bummer they did not have any of those. Apparently another family member uh, has them and won't give them up. I guess. They weren't even at that house. Um, and then for non-garage sale pickup stuff this week, I got a stack of strategy guides from a friend to pay 20, <coughs> 20 bucks for them all, um, <laughs> which ended up being like a little over $2 a piece. Fallout 3, Final Fantasy 13, first Mass Effect, the uh, Twilight Princess guide for the GameCube version, Mass Effect 2 collector's guide, the uh, Collection Edition of Twilight Princess, Dark Souls, and the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Prestige Edition guide. Um, and then I picked up one game. <laughs> She's dying. We gotta wrap this I'm video dying. up, guys. I gotta take her to the hospital, apparently. <laughs> uh, I picked up one game for myself, just bought it offline. I got it for about five bucks cheaper than what they were asking or what their you know, average price was going for. It is Kid Dracula, a pretty uncommon, rare, whatever, uh, Game Boy game. If you've never heard of it, check it out. I recommend giving it a try. That is it, everyone. Uh, thank you for watching. Again, enter this week's game giveaway. Be subscribed. Thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Leave a uh, give a thumbs up for, for Katie's cough and, and not feeling well. Maybe, maybe it'll make, make, feel better. make her feel better. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.